about a year and a half ago, Chesapeake Bay Foundation and the Trust invited me to a meeting of a bunch of scientists at National Geographic, all thinking about uh, the Chesapeake Bay, uh, this idea of a water trail with observing buoys to gather information about the environment. And we came together and talked about an idea and a vision for the Chesapeake Bay that would encourage greater involvement by citizens in its future. And we realized that the 400th anniversary of John Smith's discovery of Jamestown was about to take place. We began to work with the National Park Service and create the idea of looking at his voyages back in 1607 and 1608, uh, some 2,100 miles. We realized that this provided a beautiful network for a trail system. Uh, maybe akin to the Appalachian Trail to 2,100 miles from Maine to Georgia, a land trail. This would be America's first national water trail. It's a story that uh, it's four centuries old, but it's also a story that's as immediate as today. We've got people out on the bay right now reenacting the voyage of uh, John Smith, and, uh, and every day these people are posting information to a website. We knew Verizon Wireless had a robust data network in place uh, throughout much of the Chesapeake Bay, whether it's to carry the data from a marine observing buoy up to the internet and into the world, or to connect the crew members of the shallop. Regardless, if you're out there, our network is there. One of the best parts of modern technology is the ability to study it today in real time, to get real time information using the NOAA Chesapeake Bay interpretive buoy system with the equipment that Verizon has given us to call the buoys 1877 Buoy Bay and get not only historical and ecological data but also real-time water quality data. Here we are coming into the mouth of the Potomac. We've got the Point Lookout NOAA buoy right out there, and we're listening to John P. H. Williams talk to us on the buoy bay. Welcome to the Chesapeake Bay Interpretive Buoy. People system. really relate to the real-time aspect, the fact that they can go out there and see what's happening right now. So we have buoys in the water uh, at significant points along the John Smith Water Trail. And these things are on. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, reporting their data back every 10 minutes. Another interesting aspect of this is that we are treating the John Smith shallop essentially as a moving buoy. And so we've outfitted the shallop with water quality collection information and a GPS receiver and a wireless uh, Verizon broadband transmitter. We've put uh, various things on the boat to keep us connected as possible to people. Some things we have are cell phones that we use uh, that have camera and video. Uh, in them, and we can shoot all sorts of stuff and then send it pretty much directly to the website. Day 31, and I've got the weather report. It is hot. I mean, hot. I mean, really, really, really hot. You're able to follow their story and what they're going through all pretty instantaneously. So you just go into their website and you can find out what they're going through and also about the environmental stuff because it's all at your fingertips. It's like when you want to know it, it's there. The great opportunity that Verizon brings to us is the ability to reach out to millions of Americans. Pulling those tools together, a remarkable synergy in all of that. We need to know where we came from, but tools like this, it's really a key to how we move forward in the 21st century.